Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to adjust individual character styling within a text. And we're going to start by bringing a Fusion Conversation clip to the Fusion page and to build out our example here by bringing in a background note and connect text note to it and then connect merge one to media out one. Now here we're going to write out our text and this can be whatever you want it to be. And if you notice that at this point, if we stay within the text node and all the changes that we're making will be applied to the entire text. And that can be a, a changing the text styling or a changing color or changing size. So in order to make changes to individual characters, what we need to do first of all is to click the text box and then right click and then menu select character level styling. This is going to activate modifiers tab. And that's where we can make further changes to individual characters. So you're going to see a lot of the familiar tabs here already. But if we actually click these tabs, we actually won't see any settings yet. And the reason is because we haven't selected our individual character. So to select individual character, what we need to do is to come to the viewer, simply click and drag and select the word that you want to make changes to. So in this case, it's going to be just and now you're going to see all the settings appear. And this is where you can make changes to the color, the style, the size, uh, pretty much all the settings that you see under the tools tab. And you can make changes to font style, the font, and also a lot of other settings. But for now, let's just go ahead and make some changes to the font itself as well as the font style. And let's also bump up the size of the character a little bit here. And then uh, let's go ahead and select another character and make some change to the color. And then afterwards, let's select another character and make some change to the text outline. So now what I want to demonstrate at this point is that you have the ability to remove the styling for either each individual character by selecting clear character styling on selection. Or you have the ability to remove the styling for this entire text by selecting clear all character styling. This is going to make sure everything reverts back to this original. Okay, guys, so I want to point out a couple things here, one of which is that the changes that we're making to individual characters within the text are location based. So what that means is that when we choose a individual word like this and we make changes to it, all the changes that we're making are applied to the letters that are at this part of the text. So what that means is that if we go ahead and right now start to remove the word that we just selected, which is like, you're going to notice that whatever letter is going to fill in at this part of the text is going to get that styling applied to them. And so that's one thing to remember is that it's more about the location rather than the individual word itself. Another thing to note here is that as of right now, we see the text box, we see there's a keyframe next to it, and we see that we can also make changes to the size and all these parameters, but we don't see the modifiers tab. We don't seem to be able to adjust individual uh, character styling for this text. And the reason is because our text node here is not selected. So all we need to do is to make sure that it's selected. Uh, and then now you're going to see the modifiers tab appear and then you'll be able to go in there and make changes to individual character style. And lastly, I just want to point out that we can also very easily keyframe character level styling. So let's come to the 10th frame here, select a word. And now let's go ahead and keyframe right click here to animate character level styling. Now, if we do this, all the changes that we're making to our individual characters are going to be keyframe. But for now, we're just going to leave everything the way it is. And then let's come to the 12th frame and then hit keyframe again. Now here, or let's go ahead and make some changes to the size as well as the color. And now after this, let's just come to the 14th frame. And now let's revert everything back. Uh, make sure that we uh, we keyframe. And now what you're going to notice is that uh, if we play this right now, uh, you're going to see that uh, individual character uh, level styling is now animated. So I hope this helps guys and uh, I will see you next time.